Hey guys, Isabel here. Welcome back to Railden. So today is another Harry Potter merchandise review for you guys. Now, one of the things I really like about some of the merchandise you can get in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, not just like the amusement park, but also just like things that you can buy that are Harry Potter themed are stationary stuff. So like you can get a howler, you can get one of the ministry like paper airplanes, but another thing you can also get are wax seal kits. So I got this from my friend for Christmas. I know it's been a couple months since I've gotten it and I'm only getting now to reviewing it. Sorry about that, but I'm excited to share it with you guys today. So the wax seal kit I'm gonna show you guys is the Hufflepuff wax seal kit. I am a Hufflepuff, so it's tailored more towards me, but let's get to the review. So it's going to come in this box. You can also get other houses. So if you're not a Hufflepuff, you can get like Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Gryffindor. There is also like an overall Hogwarts one that you can get, but I'll be showing you guys the Hufflepuff one. So it comes in a yellow box with, I'm gonna take this off here. It's the Hufflepuff descriptor of what you're getting, but it comes in a yellow box with the Hufflepuff crest on it. On the back is black and it has the Harry Potter logo as well as some trademark information. I honestly really love this box. Like you guys have no idea, but if you open it up, I also have not opened this up yet and used it. And then here you have a plastic protective covering. You have a yellow wax and you have a black wax as well as a die cast metal. I think they're called I don't know what they're called exactly, but I'm gonna call them a stamper. That thing you stamp the wax seal with. All right, this is my first time taking the plastic out, so I'm super excited. Okay, we'll take the whole thing out. <laughs> and it comes in a felt lined case, so it fits snugly so things won't move around. But here you can see the different waxes and they do say Hufflepuff on them, on both the yellow and the black. And now let's take a look at our stamper. I should probably look up what it's actually called, but I'm gonna call it a stamper. And the stampers they have are really nice. I know you can buy like other, like individual stampers. So like my initials are I, Z, G. You can buy ones that say I and Z and G and any other alphabet that your name begins with. See, he's really stuck in here. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's like, you can tell it's metal because it's cold to the touch. Or like when you first get it, if you haven't touched it. This is really cute. And honestly, the detail is pretty amazing. So on what looks like a stand, you have a badger sitting upright and the badger is holding on to the Hufflepuff crest. A badger is holding on to a picture of a badger. I think that's kind of cool. It's kind of funny too. But the badger himself has a lot of detail. You can honestly, his fur, you can see his fur in the metal. It has a little tail back there. He's really cute. And it's heavy. Like he's like, this is, this is good. Like he's, this is heavy. He's honestly, he's like, you can see his ears, his eyes, his nostrils, like the detail in this is honestly amazing. You can see his claws on both his feet and his hands. And it looks like he's standing on, I'll just hold his head, on like a pillar. And the pillar has the spiral effect on it. And of course, on the back here, you have some trademark information. I always say this in my videos. I'm not, a f I know they're needed, but I'm not a fan of being able to like easily see the trademark information. But honestly, like it's in the back and it's on this little ridge here. So I'm not super annoyed with it. All right, so now we'll look at the bottom, the place where you actually put the wax seal. And the stamp is pretty simple. It's a simple Hufflepuff crest with the badger on the shield. And then in the bottom scrawl, it says Hufflepuff on what looks like a little roll of paper. So overall, really cool. And then this is just the Hufflepuff example. If you use Ravenclaw, it's gonna have a raven, unfortunately. I know you guys are eagles, but the movies used a raven as a symbol. Don't really know why. And then of course, if you're Gryffindor, it'll have the lion. And if you're Slytherin, have a snake. And then it'll have, the wax will have the different colors. So like Slytherin, green and silver, Gryffindor, red and gold, Ravenclaw, blue and silver, or some combination of those colors. And then I believe Hogwarts is black and purple with like the Hogwarts crest on the bottom. And then it'll have, I'm assuming your animal, the Slytherins and Ravenclaws and Gryffindors, it'll have your animal holding your shield and it'll have the crest, your own crest on the bottom. And I'm not gonna use the wax in this video because I um, I want this for displaying purposes, so I don't really wanna mess up the wax or anything like that. But this is what the wax looks like. Not only does it say Hufflepuff on it, but on the sides of the words, it actually has 
an image of a badger, which I think is really cool. It's I think that that's like a really hard thing to do because the badger is so small, but it's there, which is really cool. But how it works is you take out your wax. You see they have little wicks up here. You light the wick and you let the wax drip down onto this envelope that you're gonna seal with it. And then once you have a good little splotch, it doesn't have to be bigger than a quarter, you take your stamp and you, you put the stamp onto the middle of the wax and you leave it there for a little while. Not too long though, but then you just leave it there and then you just take off the stamp and you have the image of what's underneath the stamp on your wax seal. But guys, that was my review on one of the wax seal kits, specifically the Hufflepuff version. Again, if you wanna get one specific to your house, the color's gonna be different, the stamper is gonna be different, <laughs> but it'll be pertained to your house specifically. So my friend got this from the Noble Collection. It is $35 if you get it from them. I will leave a link in the description down below from places you can get this if you want one for yourself or if you have a friend who really enjoys Harry Potter. I think this would be a really cool and personalized gift to give them. And I love collecting Harry Potter merchandise, so eventually, not now, but eventually in the future, I might try to get one for each house and, you know, display them. And it's cool to give you two different colors because you can use either one or each, or if you're feeling creative, you can actually use both and you'll have a mix of yellow and black. To put your stamp on. But guys, that has been my review. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like on the video, comment, is this something you get for yourself or for another Harry Potter fan? And if you already have them, which stamper, I know I'm saying that wrong, I apologize, but which stamper is your favorite? And be sure to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you know when I upload future Harry Potter merchandise reviews as well as the Wizarding World of Harry Potter vlogs. But guys, that's all I've got for you today. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.